there, right? Yep. I am going to work in the garden today, but I was so excited to come out. I took a walk. There's nobody here anyways. It's just me and that's fine because I have a lot to do. But I called Gary. Let me turn this around. It's not about me. Okay, there it is. Gary's all excited. I called him. He was out ready to leave. I see two. The other day I thought I saw one, it flew off, but they're actually climbing out of their... What do you call them? Exoskeleton. Exoskeleton. Look at them. I, I was videotaping. Mark Oliver's always first. He's ahead of us. I mean, he's hours ahead of us, so he's probably there before I'm there. Look at this. Is this cool? I'm so excited. If I get too close to them, will they... Will they fly? I don't want them to fly off okay. yet, and they haven't gotten their color. But they came out of obviously this pond. This is why I cannot clean out the hair algae. He won't let me. I don't yeah. want to. They haven't got their full blood supply. No, because they're not the right color, right? Yeah, and their wings will cut, darken up too. Right now, the wings are drying and taking their shape. Isn't that cool? I would have loved to have caught them crawling out. But I just walked over here because I was getting ready to work and plant some plants and I want to set up a grow bag. Yes, I'm going to set up a grow bag. So many questions. I figured I better try it. But um, I was afraid to get too close because I didn't want them. Hi, Barpat. How do you say that again? Parpati? Parpati. Parpati. Look at that. So they just climbed out. That would have been something to see. Now, is there any on the other pond? No, I've checked the other ponds and I couldn't find any. I don't know if I'm zoomed in or zoomed out. Look at that. I'm trying to hold the camera. Uh, the... Oh, good. D uh, DJ's got uh, tomatoes starting. Plants. Yes, it's spring tea. <laughs> good morning from McGee. Family. Sandy, hi. I'm not staying on because I have to work. Sherry, any frog? We don't have frogs here. Not, not this year, but Gary had frogs in his pond, so he's looking. This is cool. This is what I'm coming on for. I don't want to bother them because they just crawled out. Their body is really ugly. <laughs> Look at that. See, crawled out of the top. I wasn't here to see them crawl out. And now they have to sit here and dry, and you said they have to get a blood supply? Yeah, the blood supply will go to their wings. See, normally they're a red, redder color. And right now they're just sort of getting everything circulating. That's what they crawled out of. And these are these are red skimmers. Red skimmers? I'm not sure if they're the big red skimmer or the other red skimmer that we have. They have really good eyesight, so I don't want to mess around too much. I can't wait for it's warm. You know, we had a heat wave and it's freezing. It's not freezing, but it's cold today. Really cold. Am I zoomed? Oh my God, your horse, that scared me. You're a horse fly thing, look at this. Where'd he go? They follow me around, those horse fly-like carpenter uh, bees, they literally follow me around. R-Y-N, right? He's making, they're making, uh, oh, he disappeared. Compost, we are making compost for the first time. Oh, it'll be so much fun. Especially the way I do it. I let everything do its own thing. So there's no more, just the two right now? Just the two today. Let's see so. if I can. Isn't that cool? It looks like he's eating something, but he's not. He actually climbed out of that. Yeah, they unzip their backs, climb out, and then they expand their wings. You have to talk loud, you know. Okay. Oh, DJ's got a lot of bees. I don't have as many bees. I don't know where they are, but they're probably in your garden. So that's our adult mosquito control. Yeah, that's and right. When they're in the ponds, they're controlling the wrigglers. So there's fish in the ponds. That's why they don't clean up the ponds, because the dragonflies need permanent water for at least a year here. Um, these, the dragonflies we've got here cycle from year to year. Other species in different places might take two years. So they live here most of their life underwater. Yeah, most of their life is spent underwater. And they eat your fish. <laughs> yeah, the, the fish eat their eggs when they first lay them, and then it turns around and the 
young dragonflies eat the young fish. What do they call that, dog eat dog world or it's something? It's a do dog eat dog world or dragonfly eat fish world. Oh gosh. Okay, so these two came out of here. Which is the one I was, I think it was this one I was fishing around last time and we found some nymphs in here. So we know they're in here. I can't even get in here. I wanted to clean this up. Oh, they yeah. what may not just be on a wall. They could be on something else, like a stick or something. Yeah. Christopher, hi. I know I've missed a lot of you. Gary is so knowledgeable. He they, is. They could get onto a plant like this and do the same thing. Uh, my sweet potatoes in my garden get into the water and they like climbing out on the sweet potatoes and then they'll do that on the sweet potatoes. But this wall has got it, I noticed it's got a nice surface for them to grip on, plus it'll probably warm up fairly quickly. So they would prefer the wall, I imagine, over a plant because they'll get um, going a lot quicker. Cool. Now I'm not sure, no promises, but I might try to go to Gary's garden later and see if my phone will pick it up there and check on the baby hummingbirds. Did you check on the baby hummingbirds? Yeah, they're doing well. Okay, they don't know what happened because I, I never, I haven't done anything. We saw them hatching for the garden tour I made on April 1st. And then a week later, there was a catastrophe. So, so far so good. There's none behind the pomegranate and there's none by the bathtub? No, I've, I've done a pretty good inspection. I can't see anything. I, I can't wait to clean this up, but he really wants me to leave it alone until they're all out. And they'll be out as soon as weather gets completely warm, I guess. Yeah, they'll continue until midsummer. I'm, I'm trying to think how it went last year. And once they stop coming out, that's like, I would notice them every day pretty much. That's when I start to clean. How's the feed on this? Is it working? Because I'm really far from any internet. Let me see if I can see. Uh, I don't know if I'm back on or what, but I lost, I went too far. Yeah, it's still spinning. It's spinning. Let me see if I can get back. I think it's gone. Okay. Am I back on? It's coming back on. Oh, I'm back on. I didn't know if I was going to have to re-come on. I was going to come on later anyways. So it's back on? I'm back on. Yep. Okay, because Marty just came in. So I can't go that far. So it's behind me. So I have to get something out here. My phone, we have no cell site yeah, out here. pick up the dragonflies, so that was cool. Buffering in and out, yes. Tonya, hello. Oh, DJ, hello. Julie, hello. Marty, hello. Our batting guy said hi. Hello, LaRue. Uh, Christopher, DJ, Ryan, Sherry, McGee. I don't want to get a message later. You missed me! <laughs> DJ, I'm just going through Julie's a little patch of dirt. That's cute. Um, Mark Oliver, of course. Mark is always there. He's there before I'm there. <laughs> All right. Well, I can't go too far. So they did get that. You saw it on your phone or you didn't yeah. see if I got it? Yeah, it's... Yeah, I went back and Okay. Saw. Sunshine Country Chickens. All right. Well, I only wanted to come on for a few moments to show the dragonflies are coming out of the ponds. We've got three ponds. We've got one there, and that's a pond, and then that's a bathtub. And this is my little meadow. The rabbits are gone, even though I saw the rabbit yesterday, so I can start planting in here. I want to trim away a little bit, keep this really nicely growing, and get some flowers and different things in here. Oh, it's raining? Uh, a little misty, yeah. Jeez, first we have 100 degrees for days and today it's raining. Oh, you'll love totes. I love totes. Look at this, I can go at my own pace. I'm almost done. I think I've got enough sticks and twigs in here. I'll top it with some leaves and then either grab soil from another tote that's not growing. I have a tote over here, I think, that's not growing. And move things around or I can even use some potting soil. See, I was hand pollinating this morning, so. All right, well, that was what I wanted to show you today. I literally had no idea. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I was so excited to see them come out. Can you watch and see? I'll try one more time to walk over. Let me know on your phone yeah. if I lose the connection. Because I, I can, I'll go slow. Maybe if I go slow, it will follow me. Gee, Cooper hawks are quiet. 
cooper hawks behind me are real quiet. They are a raven. There they are. They are emerging from their shells. Let me zoom in. They live... Here, I know you can't hear me if I zoom in. I think it cuts the mic. I wish I should have had a stick. A selfie stick. Those are dragonflies. Let me move back out. Thank you, Julie. Hood therapy. Connie Davison, hello. So they live most of their life underwater for about a year, you said. Yep. Yeah, from... And then they come out of this weird looking creature. I've done videos on them. They they look they look I don't even know what they look like. They're not like a roach, but they're really odd looking. I don't want to get too close. And they look really odd. Hi, Jamie's Country Living. And then I missed it this morning. I came out here. There could be more any time. They crawl out and then they find the place on the wall where they want to just stay and they kind of adhere themselves to the wall. And then they, like Gary said, they unzip. I don't want to, if yeah. he flies in my face, well, I'll right, drop my phone. Right now the eyes aren't twitching around, so they're not very active. So the thing on the top, up on top there, that's what the, he came out of. They unzip their back and then they kind of crawl out like a butterfly. And then they spread out and they just unfold and dry up. And he's actually redder now than he was when I started. Yeah, he's starting to redden up. And they fill with air too, because you can imagine something that big isn't going to come out of something that tiny. So oh, they, so they're blowing up. They're blowing up. Yeah, they're inflating. And there's two of them in that, something? And so, some morning. people probably think it's odd that we get all excited about dragonflies, but we don't live near an area where there's standing water or permanent water throughout the year. So we've, we've actually brought them into our yard. Okay, yes. William wants to know, don't dragonflies kill your pond fish? No, they don't kill the pond fish. There's, they eat them. <laughs> it's a symbiotic relationship because when the dragonflies come in to lay their eggs, the fish eat the eggs, right? The mosquito fish eat the eggs. They wait for it. Isn't that nasty? And, then as, <laughs> and I noticed there's a lot of little fish at that time of the year. Oh, so the babies are eating their uh, eggs. Then as they get bigger, I don't notice as many little fish. Oh. And it's been flipped around. But they eat the baby dragonflies as well when yeah, they first yeah. hatch out of the eggs. Okay, so they're constantly, that's why otherwise you'd have thousands yeah. of dragonflies. And that keeps the population of dragonflies balanced in the pond because if you had too many of them, they wouldn't have enough food. So, so if I didn't have the fish, they wouldn't have enough food, if that makes sense. It they does. would overpopulate the pond. Well, I'm just wondering how long does it take for them to get to a certain size that the fish stop eating them? and then they start eating the fish when they get bigger. They'll eat the baby fish. I, I've found, young fish. found them half that size, at least half, half that size. Yeah, but how long does it, probably, I guess, a few months? A few months, yeah. Yeah, cool. They're gonna turn really red. Now, the females aren't as red, right? No, they are in the beginning, aren't the they? Females aren't quite as red. They're a little lighter color, but they are still red. They probably won't even get their true color for a day or two. You think? Uh, I. Maybe, but they're getting color real quick because as we're standing here talking for whatever we, length of time this has been, yeah, they're starting to redden up. 15 minutes. Boy, you would have been gone. You were leaving. Yeah, I was going to fix somebody's ceiling or whatever. Yeah, I was going to work on a ceiling. <laughs> okay, well, I just wanted to show you that today. Isn't that cool? I'm going to have to get water. <coughs> I'm going to start coughing. I got a cough off and on now. Okay, there it is. Isn't that cool? I am turned the right way this time, right? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm just trying sometimes to the pick phone... up a couple of... Um... Comments? Comments. Oh, that's nice. I almost yeah. fell over the pond. <laughs> Thank you, no, Julie. Julie, I'll be honest with, with you. It's not allergies. Uh, I had the C back in January, I don't want to say, and I was left with a cough. So that's what it, periodically I just start coughing. It's kind of like a little spasm in the back of my throat and it's already gone. 
and then it goes away. So that's what it is. It's just kind of left over, but you know, I made it through and so I got to cough for a while. It's getting better and better all the time. Oh, okay, first of all, Debbie, I hope you're trying to tell me your Egyptian walking onions, and I'm sure that's what you're talking about. Uh, you're really close to get really close is not a problem, but they shouldn't be putting out seeds. So I'm hoping you mean they're going to have babies. If you're putting out seeds, and you got something else. So I think I've got everybody, and I can go back later and try to read the questions too if there's something. Oh no, I'm okay, Julie. Don't worry about it. It's just a it's just a weird cough. I've actually talked to a lot of people that have had it and you never had a cough with it, did you? You had a cough, but it disappeared fairly quick. You didn't um, have the, like the little spasms I, I get. I had, had a, like a spasm cough. It was just sort of come on all of a sudden, just a little cough cough. Well, that's what I have. But it'll come on when I least expect it. And then, thank goodness, like it's already gone. Sometimes it's not, and then you start coughing. People think you're dying, you're not. Right, leave me alone, I'll be fine in a few minutes. Ginger tea, you're right. You're so right. No, I'm fine already. See, I felt it. I can feel it. it's like a tickle. It's not even a tickle. It's, a, it's literally like a little spasm and then it goes away. So that's why. So if you ever hear me start coughing, that's all it is. And they told me at my medical thing, it could last six months. <laughs> so this is, this is exciting. I'm looking to see if there's any more through here, but you said you looked really good. I looked really good. And, and it could be on a plant too. And, I see. And without the... really knowing, this one up here is larger and this one's a little smaller. So that may be a male and that may be a female. Let me back I'm up. Not 100% so can... sure on that, but that is definitely smaller than that one. I can see that. But then who came out first? <laughs> well, that's a, that's another question, yes. Literally, I walked over here and I did a video on this, you know, and photographs on this, and it was so excited and as it backed up, I looked down and I thought, "Oh my gosh." There's two. I didn't even notice that one. Yeah, that one's getting redder quicker. So it, that might have come out first. Mandy loves dragonflies. Oh, they're so cool. They are really cool. And they don't bother you. Really good eyesight. So they can't see yet. Otherwise, they would be, well, they wouldn't, yeah, usually, they would take off already, I think. Usually, when, when they've been out for a while, their eyes will be moving around, especially we're so close, but they just want to freeze, like, fight, flight, or freeze, or well, they're doing the freezing so that they don't want to be noticed. Linda has that cough too. She's got the same thing I've got. Yeah, I don't let it get to me. I actually okay, carry a little- bu Buffering Oh, uh, buffering. Let me get back, let me get back. Tell me when it comes back on. I'm too, I wandered too far for too long. Not yet, not yet. I'll walk over here. It's not telling me it's buffering, though. Okay, now it's back. Okay, it didn't tell me this time it was buffering. Um, I carry a little tiny bottle of water in my purse if I go somewhere. Because water seems to stop it right away, but i got to do it right away. Okay, but Mandy says it's better now. Um, I think Mary Kay, hi. Car. Care. Jetty, hi. <laughs> it could be allergies. I do have allergies. My allergy normally is from January to March. There's something in the air that gets to me. So it could be a combination of that too. That's why I'm not doing anything. I'm not on any medication or anything. I just carry water with me and lollipops. I ordered lollipops so I can carry a lollipop with me. And when I don't need it, I can stick it back in the bag and put it back in my purse or my pocket. All right, so I think I'm good. I wanna get stuff done. I planted up a bunch of stuff in my cardboard boxes. I'm gonna move that after I've carried this whole thing over here myself. I'm gonna put another box there. I'm gonna do all boxes and I have other ideas. I actually like this. I'm really excited about this. Let me see if I'm zoomed out. I am. Because I can't wait to make my own soil. I just wanna see how long this is gonna last for. Benadryl. Yeah, I, I don't take, look at he's taking pictures. Yeah, he's gonna take pictures. Tell him, you need to see his videos and his pictures. He's got tons of videos. Is he? He's so excited. I knew he'd be excited. He was leaving, and just before he left, I said, you got to get over here now. 
Lollipops are just easier. I didn't want cough drops because then I gotta stick a cough drop in my mouth and I don't want it. So I just went and bought plain old, you know, the old fashioned ones that your doctor used to give you when you were good or bad and they'd give you a lollipop, which Gary has no idea what that is. When I said that, he said, no doctor ever gave me a lollipop. Yeah, I just bought a bag of lollipops and I just keep them on me if I need them, I can grab it. And then I can just wrap it back up. I keep the paper, the plastic and do it that way. B from London, England. They are magical and they're so beautiful. Barbara C, hello from Tucson. I don't know if you're warm or cold, but today look at this, we're cloudy and it started to kind of drop some drops, but it's supposed to rain. They're saying, okay, they're almost done with that house. So, Kent, England. Linda's from Kent, England. Oh, I'm fine. Oh, thank you so much, man. No, no, no. I'm fine. It's just leftover. I have nothing else, but I'm just leftover with that. And that, so that's why if I'm doing a video, I can cut out if I cough when I'm live. I'm going to cough. I can't say, hey, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'll come back later. Thank you, Renee. Eddie. Eddie's Edible Acres. Where are you now? I'm just uh, right now. I think you're talking about the garden. I'm in you know where my chair garden is i have to get to that i'm finishing up this we got two more totes i'm in the back in my garden and this is the ponds that gary set up we've got the bathtub on the end there that somebody gave him and then he set up two ponds future video idea he's got tons of future videos i should just go in his computer and just upload everything no i can't do that um so that's it but i am going to go back to work I want to finish up here. I want to put another cardboard box in the middle. And then I have a couple other ideas I want to do. And then I have to get to this. I definitely have to get to this. Oh, I got to finish. I bought a, I went to the nursery and he gave me a, what did he give me? A butternut squash. It looked really bad. I asked, when is he getting more? He said he didn't have any. He said he could have it. So I want to get that in there. It's snowing. Oh my gosh. I can't complain that we're what? 50 degrees, 55. Oh, we're in California, Southern California. Okay, I think that's it. You got some photos? Yep. I got some photos too. I'll keep an eye out because that means they're gonna start coming. Isn't it too cold for them to come out today? Seriously, I even think about it because they really like the warm weather like bees. Yeah, I think the heat waves brought them out a little early. It's 70s in, the, in Texas. But they usually start April. Did you start April? Yeah. It might be just a okay. little early. All right. Well, if I get a chance and if I can get my phone to work, I'll go down and show you and tell you what happened in Gary's garden with the hummingbirds. It's 32 degrees where Mandy is. Yeah, we're not that cold, but you're going to be a lot colder where you are. Uh, it's buffering again. It's buffering. All right. Well, you move. Tell me when it stops buffering. Yeah, I don't know when you left the blue uh, the, um, cardboard boxes, but it's buffering on the cardboard boxes. Oh no, it left all the way. It, so it buffed, so nobody got that? Oh well. Well, can't help that. All right. I'm back. Sorry, Gary tells me I'm going. Yes, I'm sick of the snow. Oh, I couldn't live in snow, so I feel for you. I mean, some people love snow. Not me. All right, well, I'll try to go back. Uh, Lydia loves her planners. You're in Texas. Uh, okay, so Linda's in northern, northern? North Central Texas. Andy, everybody have a wonderful day. I'm trying to make sure I said some everybody's name somewhere. Say hi. I'm still getting buffering. Well, then maybe your phone's not working. Oh, that's possible. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Your phone might not be working. You keep telling me I'm going out, but nobody else has told me I'm going out. Keep smiling. That's wonderful. All right. I have a million and one things to do. I got to go on, get all this done. I want to finish over there. I might start my chair garden, but I need to definitely finish this so I can walk away and know that the wall right there is all done. That's what I want to do. That is going to be one happy Moringa plant. Having all those cardboard boxes decaying right there at its roots. Uh, oh, you got me on your... I'm glad I caught you live. Uh, somebody said something. I got you on TV. It's beautiful. Thank you. 
The Merge by Shannon. I'm good. She said I'm good. It might be your phone. Is it, it still must buffering? Be my phone. It's still buffering. So oh, your shut, phone's buffering. Shut my phone off. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go get stuff done. If I get down to Gary's Garden and my phone works, I'll show you the hummingbird nest a little bit later. And I guess that's it. So wave goodbye, Gary. Bye. Everybody have a wonderful one. I'm afraid if I touch anything on my phone, it's going to. Josh, Cat, Gaming, 110. I heard. Wing, red, red wing blackbirds. We don't have red wing blackbirds here. No, we we do if we go to a place where there's water, like a pond. Or yeah, a, lake. a permanent big water. We don't have them here, but they are in the area. They are in the area. Yeah. We've got ravens and other birds singing right now. Okay, uh, I think I've said hello to everybody. I hope. Be by. Okay, so for. Wait a minute. I think I saw somebody. Mama Dog from Mississippi. I said Shannon, Debbie, Hedger. Okay, I got everybody. All right. Have a wonderful day. And I'm going back to work. No, he, they didn't see you wave. Oh. Okay, go ahead. And that's it. So I'll try to get down to Gary, Gary's garden later and see if I can show you the hummingbirds. If not, I'll do a video on that. Bye, Josh. Bye, Bea. Bye, everybody. Okay, have a great day, and I'm getting back to work.